the turkeys in the back. What's up, Rome? Yo, Fred. Yo, Fred, you want to jump on real quick? Give me an update what's going on. We got about another 15 or so minutes. Fred, you, you want to give everybody an update with what's going on in Canada? Fred Fury. Freddy. Fred, where you at? Fred, you want to jump on right now? Let us know. I just got your message. What's it saying? Yo, Fred, click the link. You're going to join us right now. Give us an update. All right. You're going to give us an update. Uh, you know, stay within the guidelines, but just let me let me pull up what you're saying here, too. What do you got? Okay. Court declares trade. Okay. Let me pull up this image while we got you here. I just sent you the link. Let's have you come on, Fred. Let's have you tell us what's going on. I'll go ahead and plug your your stuff on the Twitter when we get there. Um, federal court declares Trudeau's use of emergencies act unconstitutional. Hey, hey, Fred, if you can jump on here for five or so minutes and give us a little breakdown what this means for the ladies and gentlemen around the world and and for the ladies and gentlemen. Uh, danger, Will Robinson, Elon Musk. Um, go ahead, let us know what does this mean for Canada. Where are you, Freddie? We're going to have Fred jump in here right now. He's going to tell us what this means. It looks like Justin Trudeau, what he was doing with the – oh, oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. I got a video we can play too. Hold on. Hold on. Dude, I have to pull it up. The woman. Um, Hold on. Dude, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can pull up this video too. Um, Dude. Oh, my gosh. Can I not, can I show, okay, I probably can't show you guys what all the cocaine and stuff looks like, but 1.2 tons of cocaine was discovered, discovered packed inside coffee shipment. I don't know if I can show you guys the, the cocaine here. It's all wrapped up. I mean, you can't see what it is. We should be good, right? Oh, never mind. They open up the cocaine. Well, no, it should be good, right? I guess, no, it's probably banned substances. I probably shouldn't show us. I just went ahead and retweeted it. Um, you guys, I wanna, I'm want to. i bringing Fred on right now. I'm trying to pull up this video while I bring up Fred on. I'm trying to find the name of the woman. The woman who she said was okay. Um, the Canada, Canada, hold on. We got Fred in the green room. Hold on, hold on. Okay, let's just have Fred tell us what's up because there's a video of this woman. She's 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 part of the Canadian Parliament. She she's some prominent person, and she basically said she does not regret. Um, she does not regret the whole trucker convoy thing. Okay, Trudeau must resign. One second, one second. I'm gonna bring Fred on. I'm just gonna try one last time. See if I can see the video. Oh, I can't. All right, let's bring Fred on. He's he's right here. Hello. Hey, that, Fred, how's it going? That was Blaze that you see, or is Blaze that you see. <laughs> oh, what's up, Blaze? I got the Blaze cam on instead of my cam. Perfect. Yeah, I hope – how are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Yeah, yesterday you sent me this article about this. Earlier today I watched a video of – um you might know it's it's like the woman who's the woman in charge with trudeau she's the one doing a lot of talking she she had those rebel reporters get arrested D do you know her name what, what's her name i sadly do know her name her name is christine freeland chris christine christine freeland and for the off topic uh uh, uh tribe here Let's put some context on Miss Christine Freeland. Okay. She is a active and has been for years active board member of WEF. The world wait, what? Yes. Really? And a sitting member in parliament like VP vice uh, uh, prime, prime minister Okay. So th there's no conflict of interest of her being on the board of WEF, is there, folks? Oh my gosh, no, there is. A, that's a huge. Com that's a huge. That, that's a red flag, right? I mean, that's what we call it—a red flag. That—that's a red flag. Yeah. I would. I would think so, but apparently, um, no one in cabinet thinks so. 
Okay. That's clownada. <laughs> well, I'm pulling up the clip of her basically saying that she doesn't regret uh, what she did. But while I'm doing that, um, so apparently what what Trudeau did was not was not good. Like he he shouldn't have done. Like I'm over here looking up the videos. So tell us what's going on in Canada. Like what what's happening? Is he stepping down? Like what's what's up? We could only hope that he is. Uh, he's one of Clout Schwab's uh, handpicked. We'll say. And it being handpicked, um, I see uh, um, sort of like the states, uh, some civil unrest happening up here in Canada with different factions and our election being thwarted and this idiot still being in office. And if no not, way. And if, if not, it's going to be the other one, which is Pee Pee, which I love that video that you had today. But <laughs> <laughs> Pee Pierre Polyab, the other um, uh, politician, the conservative side, the, he finally, yesterday, after it was declared and deemed uh, um, unconstitutional and, and illegal, then he speaks up. Unlike Trump, the conservatives here sit back and do nothing. Maybe because they're afraid is to say something? It sounds like... You get your uh, baby count there, taken there, away whenever you try to stand up or do something. Exactly. Up. There is uh, um, there's the ruling elite, and then there's everything, everybody else. And, and, and the ruling elite are saying, "This is the, this is what we are putting forth." Everyone goes along with it, NDP, conservatives, and liberal, until the courts say it was a bad thing to do. Then the people that are not, or the, the opposition, backpedal while the, uh, the leading party um, is left with egg on their face. Well, kind of like what this woman said in the speech, which we're playing right now. I just got the video. They, she says, like, now, I'm not saying what we did was necessarily right, but at the same time, I'm not saying, you know, we had to protect the safety of the people. So they try to play this devil's advocate, but then they double down and basically say, um, I, we, we basically meant to do what we did. We don't care that you don't well, like it. The problem is Canada was very effective. Unlike all these other slow rolls, tractors, and that going on globally. Canada did it right and did it right the first time. So much so that we impacted the finances. And that's why that lovely um, person on your screen, I say that very facetiously, <laughs> <laughs> um, in, invoked the Emergency Act because with the Windsor Bridge was down and other border crossing were um, stifled, there was loss, massive loss of revenue. And that's why they okay. felt justified. It wasn't because of imminent threat. It wasn't because of anything but their pocket books being and, affected. And and that's why we're seeing like in <laughs> Germany and France blocking the roads and tractors and stuff. They're trying to, since they're getting hit in the pockets, they're trying to turn it back around and hit the government right back in the pockets. And you're saying the trucker convoy wasn't about threatening of people and all of that. It was like turning around, hitting them in the pockets. But then what did the government do, which we're going to play this video? They went ahead and just took people's bank accounts and, and, and did all that. So to stop them literally dead in their tracks, anti-lock yes. anti, anti -lock breaks or not, they were going to stop. Uh, let, let me play a clip of this. Let, let, let's listen and see what's going on. Wait, at least in a row where you've said that affordability and housing prices and inflation are sort of your key topics of conversation. A year, a year later, at least, with three cabinet retreats, Canadians don't seem to be buying whatever message you're selling on it. Why are Canadians not believing that your government has the solutions? Last question. <laughs> um, you're right. This has been an incredibly challenging economic period. And it's one of the things we've spoken about. And I think all of us need to step back a little bit and look at... And I just want to say, this is a different video from the same day. Yes. The other video I was talking about was her saying she's basically doubling down, saying she doesn't regret going after the truckers. But I think this video will 
we'll, we'll, we'll play along with the conversation and kind of shed some light if people don't know who she is, what she kind of stands for. So let's listen to it. It's a couple minutes. I think it'll help people understand where you're coming from. The economic roller coaster. Our country and all of us have been through since COVID first hit. This is now nearly four years ago, right? So COVID hit beginning of 2020 and we shut down our economy really for the first time in world history. And we were thrown into the deepest recession since the Great Depression. Think back to our predictions then. Think back to the fears, legitimate fears we all had of deep economic scarring of the pain you would get from prolonged unemployment. That was shock number one. Then you had shock number two, which was the shock of the reopening of our economy. And we had all of the supply chain challenges in the world because it wasn't only our economy being reopened, it was the global economy. And that was exactly- I just wanna pause right there. It is kind of like, and I know we can't go too far about that on, on YouTube and such, but it is weird how everybody talks about how most countries stopped, stopped, completely like came to a stopping point, like when in history, especially now in this digital age, everybody is going, there's, there's something always going on and stopping commerce and, and goods going from one side to, I mean, a, literally a standstill. I mean, literally stopped. And, and, and it just sounds even with that, that it's a, a, a um, we stop and then we assess. And then when we boot on again, we're booting on from Windows 97, but now we're booting up to Windows 2000 and severs. It, it just feels a little weird how all these, right? Not like stopping completely. Like Not if you understand the big game. Mm. If you understand the alphabet soup, W-E-F-U-N, and who's agenda, those three alphabets work with all the other alphabets. Uh -huh. That being said, they control, the, the three control the rest and everything else flows from there and if you've been following what they've been saying they've been achieving their goals even with all the protests we're playing 5d chess on a three like the protesters they're doing 3d chess on a 5d board wow <laughs> now when canada did the protest it came out of left field so it was something no one had planned and no one had, had anticipated, and it was completely organic everywhere. The Windsor Bridge, Coots, and Ottawa. All of that was organic, and it shut down all the main systems. Like I've been saying for years, you want to stop these guys? Stop the money. Stop paying taxes. Stop paying their salaries. But no one would listen to yours truly. Like, how can you stop paying taxes? Well, you just don't right. pay it. To... <laughs> right. Wow. Okay, let's finish this. It's, it's, it's... Exacerbated by Putin's illegal invasion of Ukraine, adding an energy shock to that. As a result of these supply chain shocks, of the energy shock, we had high inflation. And then the next shoe to drop, I guess I have more shocks than I have shoes. Um, but uh, the next wave to hit was then high interest rates in response to high inflation. So I don't think it is at all surprising that Canadians are exhausted, that Canadians have economic whiplash. It has been a really hard time and it has been one thing after another, one unprecedented in the lifetime you know, of certainly a person who didn't live through the First World War, one unprecedented shock after another. I think the good news is we are, as a country, working hard to get through those shocks. Pause. Inflation, you know, you mentioned. In now, oh. yeah, okay. Understanding what she just said, backstory of her, she is, yes, part of the WEF and everything else, but she is also the individual in charge of giving out all the money to Canada, to you, from Canada to Ukraine, to Israel, and to this place, that place. Freeland is the worst person 
to have in Parliament at, and has been. Uh, I, I say she is the biggest problem that Canada has financially because she's given all the money away for equity processes for WEF. Wow. Okay. Uh, and, and, and we just got it. So when I hear WEF, is that the thing that last week, the world? Yes. 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 Forum? And she was speaking there and she's one of the, she's on the, their board. She's okay. actually on the board. She's higher position than Trudeau with the WEF. Okay, so is this would be uh, is this anything is this similar to let's say um, like a conflicting interest like Nancy Pelosi with the stock stuff or or a football bigger, player being bigger, able to bet bigger, on a football game? Bigger, bigger. But I mean bigger. But I mean the same. What 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 I mean is it, it's it's conflicting. Like there there's it needs to be separate and 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 and. and well, and you support. think about a sports player betting on his own team and and betting on playing. Right. Okay, that's that's chump change when you got a country's finance. Right, right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're talking. We're talking. You can you can change millions of people's uh, um, livelihoods on a flip of a switch. The way they go about their daily lives, right? Just just everything. The other one impacts the individual more or less. This impacts a group of, of right. people, and and then that trickles into other countries as well and can influence them and and you can be a domino effect of something very bad that you may not be able to go back from if 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 that's what i'm if that's what i'm getting. like javier's speech at the wef say we tried this folks it's no good and right. he looks like the good guy however he's not completely the good guy folks i'm going to break the bad news to you there are so many tentacles with these alphabet soups that Javier is going to be still involved, but not heavily with the socialism, but more in the tech aspect and rebuilding um, their country and everything else, technology. And they, as I said, it's a big spider web, literally, and it all funnels to these three alphabets. Well, and here's, here's the here's so, little clip. Javier is pulling out of the WEF, but he's still going to be part of UN and WHO. Ah, okay, okay. If if people don't know what the the WEF is, that's it's right there. Uh, the World Economic Forum. This is a sixty second clip. I'll just play this so people. If if it's like if somebody doesn't know anything we're talking about, here's just a little clip that might make people want to go look into what this event's all about. Just listen to what this guy says. That's that Schwab or the. Klaus I know we got. Yeah, I guess he's the, the eat the bugs or tell us to eat the bugs guy. And I personally believe that WEF are the biggest puppets of all. They're not the puppet masters. There's people above these people. I don't know who they are. They've never made themselves public. So but it's only been in the last few years where clouts and all of them have come out. But I don't believe they are the actual puppet masters. You think they just kind of – man, I'm spitting all over my computer, suffering succotash. You, you, so you mean to tell me maybe that they're on this stage and they kind of do like what well, we're going to play this here in a second. But they kind of throw out these ideas and like throwing shit at a wall and see what sticks. And we're the ones to kind of see what will stick or not. Like I guess they're – I guess these people are scared in their boots from what I've been reading and seeing on the internet that – this 2030 agenda or whatever they they know people are waking up to this kind of stuff. And let me just play this clip. And then I want your opinion on in particular, what they're talking about. Then we'll get back to her, but watch this here. Advancing very fast. But can you imagine that in 10 years when we are sitting here, we have an implant in our uh, brains and um, I can immediately feel because you all will have implants. I can, and we measure your, your brain waves, and I can immediately tell you how the people react, or I can feel uh, how the people react um, to your answers. Uh, is it imaginable? Um, I, I, I think that is imaginable. I think, um, I, I think, you know, you can imagine that. You can imagine, well, you're going to be sort of transplanted into, you know, the, the internet, so to speak, to live forever in a digital realm. 
uh, you know, you can imagine that, you know, you just in your biological incarnation are going to live to be some, you know, very long age. Uh... <sighs> okay, so like you and I having a conversation, we got the tribe here. I'm a firm believer in that there could be some type of telekinesis or we could sit here and, and, and maybe just kind of meditate. I, you don't need a brain trip, a chip, I feel to like be on the same level as the people around. Anyway, this is cre scary. What do you think? I, that just scares me. Brain chip, know how you're feeling, know your thoughts. Like, dude, are these the people? You're saying these aren't the people necessarily pushing the buttons, but there's somebody. Okay, these are the sales reps. Okay. The people above them. Think about okay. it. Right. You have all these scientists doing all these things from DARPA to whoever, name the alphabet, that are making this technology a reality. And these are your salesmen that are working in the different tech departments. This dystopia that they've been talking about selling us and everything they are planning and are going to be implementing it whether we like it or not no matter how many protests we have because this is what they think is necessary and when i say they i don't mean wef they're brainwashed zombies they believe what they're doing is the betterment of humanity the elite know better than us and they can take care and govern us better than we can govern ourselves personally so yeah Go when, on. You, when you understand that you have to ask yourself who's pushing them what's motivating them why do they feel and it comes down to it a spiritual warfare you're either in the light or you're in the dark the Bible speaks about the implant and I believe that will cut off your creative your artistic your God type pituitary gland that center eye yeah that's what I've been told I have not taken I'm a pure blood so I don't know but I have seen a lot of stupid people since the last three years increase <laughs> that weren't stupid before. It's called brain fog. It is one of the side effects. People have it. So they're doing what they want to do to destroy us so they can implement all these new techs. But before, like... Um, the age of Aquarius, they say. Well, first, this Pisces shit has to be destroyed before Aquarius can come in. And this is what they're doing, destroying the age of Pisces, which is us. Wow. And, and we're going into the... Um, age uh, of I, Aquarius. I, um, so we have somebody here in the chat. Um, I, I wanted to know what, what also you thought about what's going on in Texas. I, I know it's in, not in, in, in Canada, but we got people speculating that this could be leading to a civil war too, because they said that's how it started before. We got people scared. We got, we got D Jordan in here saying bio digital convergence is a means to control and sir, 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 uh, you know, watch us. And, and, and I just want to piggyback off what you said real quick, the whole age of Aquarius and Pisces and I, okay. Okay, uh, oh, yeah. the, be yeah, the beautiful on. United States is um, on borrowed time. Um, it's going to be so it's going to be so the United States is going to be something different um, real soon. Twenty twenty four is that year. How do I know? Well, predictive programming says um, left behind. Um, on netflix i haven't watched the movies i've watched the youtube clips of other people because i don't have netflix if i had netflix i would have watched it but i'm glad i didn't because i found out that they had layers and they were using when they're making that film darpa was using that 
apparently that sound that paralyzed everyone in the movie if you listen that to to that sound in itself like it was layered in the way they produced it it would cause permanent physical damage to you wow okay um we got people saying they want to know your yt link should i pull up your uh, x account right now yeah because um I don't, I don't know if you have the let me go ahead and pull it because do you have youtube or is it x what you've been on because of the um... well i'm going to be starting back in february february 1st back to doing radio and what i do rant, ranting over my music that i play <laughs> That being said, I don't trust YouTube because I've been on there for years, but they like to give me strikes for the artists I play and the songs and messages like, um, uh, uh, haven't got dinged on any of your songs, White Noise, so Perfect. that's good. I thought Hillary, Hillary was going to get me, but no, that one didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been on uh, streaming on X ever since I started the show. Perfect. And they've never ever banned any of my shows or restricted any of my shows. Perfect. And now that they have uh, the chat like they do on YouTube, I'm just like, when I'm down, I'll never be down on X. Right. So True. I want I want to build my X out. My radio is still building itself and everything else, but for a platform where people can engage when I'm in the show, in the chat, if they're not wanting to do the music app, yeah, um, is X. Perfect. And now scroll down mm -hmm. to the first pinned link. Okay. This? Yep. That is Chris Lysak, one of the Coots 4. And we are raising money or attempting to raise money for his defense fund. The Coots 4 has been screwed around left, right, and center, and they are political prisoners. They didn't do any heinous crimes. The RCMP and the Emergency Act fabricated, and it's factual in the courts already, as secret envelopes. Um, there's lots of people like Jason Levine has done some intensive investigation on um, the Coots 4 and everything else. And um, would they be it, your Canadian version of, let's say, the USA's um, Jan not, 6? Not, what? Like J the... Jan 6. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Not and I'm not talking uh, like the Patriot Front. Some of these extremists. I'm talking just the the J six. They 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 yes. went there. Like like I don't have to go elaborate. You know what I'm talking about. It's your. These like, are four guys that never met before. They're not an organization. They met at okay. the protest. The protest yeah. was in Coots. Right. Two of the guys out of the four knew each other from because they lived in a small town. The other two lived elsewhere in Alberta. Okay. So, but these four guys have got the shaft. They've been in remand for over 700 days, not a prison, but they've been in the county bucket for over 700 days. Dude, that's insane. And, and, and they're, and, and, and we're talking, these people probably never had a criminal record before this, never stolen. Never exactly. Beaten. Exactly. And, and so they're put in to a pin with people that have done got done God who knows what. And these not people only are have they done God knows what, they've been released and brought back and released again while they've been sitting in remand. Okay, I get you. How a lot of these people go go rob and steal, go do crazy stuff. They get let out, catch and release. But then you got some people that are kind of talking back against the the establishment and trying to encourage people to see it from a different angle they get deemed to be some kind of extremist or something especially when they haven't um hurt anybody they weren't they, they were just using their voice from my understanding uh, the, well there is weapon charges and the weapons that they had weren't illegal they were legal okay. firearms hunting guns 
but they okay. were in their trucks. Police obtained um, warrants. Were they going to use their guns? No. Most Albertans that have hunting guns and live on the farms and in the rural area, their gun is in the back it's to shoot whatever is necessary. On oh, hand. dude, I graduated in 2004. Up until 2003, kids that go hunting early in the morning in the country, dude, they'd have the gun in the back of the, the, the window. It wasn't like a – around the right. world is just different. But, but I get what you're saying with that. It was just – it's it's – it's like comes with the, the lifestyle. It's it's it's. Well, it's like in Canada, you, okay, in Canada, it's different than the states. We don't have the Second Amendment, so people being caught with firearms is a big thing. Not really. Okay, folks. It, it really isn't, okay. unless you're a city slicker. <laughs> okay. No, I got you. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so they make it. It, it, the court and lawfare that these guys are going through is just insane. Like for pre-trial, they kept making motions and motions, and they should have been already in trial by now. But the defense keeps snowball. Not the defense. The crown keeps um, messing it up and delaying everything. I went ahead and gave a retweet as well. This is another. This is what I do like about X, though, is able to like, hey, you're sharing light about this guy's story. All right, then let's you know retweet it. And and you know, um, I, I I'm realizing too with this, uh, so certain people, it's like, okay, you are who you surround yourself with, right? So so if we follow each other, we have certain people, and then we kind of go like, well, if Fred knows this person, I might go ahead and follow him because. You know, I trust Fred's kind of, you know, knows his people. So maybe this person will be all right. You know what I mean? Like, this is how, like, I go about moving on these platforms. And I'm finding out how how important that is and how these platforms are. Um, well, I'm saying how important it is to do what we're doing, even if it's just spreading information. Even if you're not, you know, like. like I will say one thing. On X, I am not a spelling Nazi. So anyone that has spelling mistakes in the chat or in tweets. Right. I'm not going to bitch at you, complain, or mock you because I make the same mistakes or more. But I will tell you, folks, if you have issues with being mocked for being a, a bad speller, don't go on X. Yeah, right. <laughs> we had somebody else here retweeting it as well, and I, it just kind of goes back to – what I always say Thank here. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. We're here in real time talking. I mean, if we really break it down, we <coughs> like like because we got a little bit longer here. So I want I want to take the next 12 minutes to kind of we can kind of go back and forth on this thought, leave it with a positive. I mean, we are legitimately here right now in real time. We're talking about, well, in this particular case, just what's going on now in Canada. We're shedding awareness about we can sit here and bulk shit about football or whatever, you know, whatever. But we're using this time, our time, we can't get back, this moment right here, exchanging, conversing, talking, both good people, both have a lot of common. And, and then we're sharing that. But we're doing – I'm just saying if you think about it, no wonder all these countries and stuff are really trying to cut down because we're, we're waking up. People don't just want to watch news and TV. They'd rather – I'm just saying look what we're able to do. I mean it's really cool. Maybe I'm getting a little too big. I mean, it's really cool. I mean, if we really think about what we're doing right now, this is insane. Ten years ago, like doing this, come on, right? Like, isn't this like how we're just live in the moment, people watching? Like, it's it's insane. I, I maybe I'm getting, I don't know. I, I think we're kind of losing it, just consumers. It's just another tool, you know. Like when FaceTime came out, oh my god, I can. But now people are like, I don't want to somebody to see me every time I. They call me. So it, it, it's cool. And now people just like, well, I can do it whenever. And nobody really. It, it's just well, kind of. Like, this is a thing, too. Um, WEF this year's biggest, biggest thorn in the flesh is us, folks. Right? It's us. They announced it. And they are going to do everything they can to come after us and suppress us. So that's why I'm on X along with Rumble, same as uh, Video Matt. They may kill the YouTube, but we're still going to be here. So yeah. you have to 
have to yeah. reach out to the other platforms because this year is going to be a major, major crackdown. Um, I'm trying to get myself already prepared. I mean, I got my TikTok taken down. I made it. I mean, I, I don't, I just, that's why I like to enjoy us here right now. Don't know how long, you know, <laughs> so great content. I agree. People, like, uh, I, 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 I have exited YouTube live stream watching. I apologize, tribe. I'm taking the step ahead of the curve and I've jumped onto Matt's um, X. And I, I, I go to everyone's X literally to do the live stream. If they can, if they're streaming on X, when they go live, I go to their X now. The reason I go to their X as to Rumble, Rumble, you can do the, 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 the paid chats and, and everything else like you can here on YouTube to help support the channel and everything that Off Topic Show does. However, um, in that process, I don't know how and if X is going to be monetized, but I know that Elon is for a free speech right now. And I have to watch my shows because of the bandwidth is less taxing on X as yeah. it is on Rumble. So being on yeah, a I had to cancel my thing for that because I, I was paying 10 bucks a month, but since I don't do it that much, I just I just canceled because I couldn't afford it. But it was for the bandwidth. Like they yeah basically what you're saying is it's true. It takes a lot of bandwidth and all this and to the point where you even have to pay Rumble and and you know a lot of this illusion and everyone you know, content creators come here, get paid. You know, I've had this for a couple of years. They, they owe me what thirteen dollars. I checked yesterday. So I mean, it, it's not. Um, it, it 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 costs. So the X platform, Fred is basically saying, if you're just creating content, trying to get it out there, you're you're ultimately better off doing it on X because it's not going to take up as much bandwidth, and it's just going to be. Um, well, yes and no. I'm saying, okay. As a content creator that you are, no, don't listen to me because you have means of getting revenue from YouTube revenue. For, I'm a nonprofit radio. I'm now going in this year, uh, I'm spending a little bit more and going to be able to monetize that, my station and everything else. But I don't know what that looks like, how it's going to work for the um, audience or anything like that. But I don't do it to get paid. I do my radio so artists can be heard that never get hear, heard. Artists that... <coughs> <coughs> like White Noise back. here. Well, it just went up a couple. Like I've, I've gotten listeners from you playing my music uh, that told me they heard me through through you so i mean uh everyone counts even if it's two or three so i mean it's it's um so for well, people like my, me my i goal. need that you yes. know it helps you're a very important part uh as a um, especially nowadays to help get people's voices extension of their voice so shout out to fred just letting you know so well that's one of the things like i started off with detroit unplugged and their um motto was artists never have to pay for anything they are our product so i have kept that near and dear to my heart and interviews i don't charge for them playing their music i don't charge for it. sending if they can take the time to send me an email their music's going to get played they can send me the link i can get the music their music gets played so that's how i've approached the radio show and i only do new releases too so that's really 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 tough to do but it isn't when you have a plethora of underground artists if you're not doing mainstream music you have a plethora of music to artists to choose from uh, who's this love love ugly mug so I wanted to kind of uh, I wanted to end it with your opinion on watching this video of Bill Gates. Um, oh, that's he, what he looks like now. 
<laughs> yeah, and it's just weird that the guy that owns a lot of uh, United States farmland, which I do have a image here, which I want to pull up first and show you. I couldn't believe it myself. I legitimately thought that it was a joke, and I had to go look it up. It's real. Um, so this is how much farmland apparently Bill Gates owns. And, yep. dude, that's a lot. And he's saying in this video about – he wants to help farmers find innovative ways because farmers can't grow what they want due to climate change. What's up, JD? Play nice in the chat, you little tribe. And um, so, yeah, I wanted your thoughts on this Bill Gates video that apparently came out not too long ago. Um, hey, <coughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I, I do want to say this, though. I do want to give people to the, the ability to express themselves in the chat. I do not want to silence people's uh, free speech I, I i definitely want the tribe who's here often and who you know the members and non-members but in the tribe you don't have to be a paid member to be in a tribe but uh to be cordial with one another let unless people are like putting down and being racist like we can't have that on the youtube even for the sake of the channel even if i necessarily don't want to silence your free speech even if it is kind of you know really mean uh we can't have that in the chat so this is where the moderators I need to do their due diligence, even if it's another moderator that you're going to be silencing. Uh, please, if anybody Don't has issues, email me. Pick them out, only mute them. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> Play nice. And if anybody has an issue, just write out. Let me know what it is so we can fix it moving forward. I don't want people to leave here. I don't want an echo chamber of people just always agreeing with me. So, um, for example, Alec Baldwin, a lot of people think he should go to jail. I don't. We're going to agree to disagree. Um, I, so I, I have to say I am one that was against Matt, and, and um, I was in the um, X chat, so no one could really see me. But <laughs> I can say I stand with Viva Fry on the same conclusion. We both had the same conclusion about Alex Baldwin. So I'm in good company, at least. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's all great. It's all great. But we can agree to disagree. Listen, 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 listen to this and, and, and tell me if this is not a Bye. Tell me if this is not a definition of a hypocrite. Here it goes. I'm here in Dubai. Uh, this is COP28, uh, very, very important meeting. Uh, oh. The issue of health and climate uh, will be discussed at length. Uh, that's never gotten the attention it deserves. Uh, the issue of food systems and how with climate change, a lot of farmers aren't able to grow their crops, uh, which is a, a tragedy for them. Uh, we'll talk about using innovation uh, to absolutely solve that problem. What? It's cop 28 that, cop 28 let's go down that road <laughs> yeah. cop, cop, cop 28 what is it it's well that cop. is another uh, um meeting annual meeting that they do of the alphabet soup huh. this this cop is united nations okay and okay. We have um, the same players that are part of the other players. If you go back up, scroll up to the top. Yeah. Um, where that main picture was. Yeah. Those are the same members of WEF. Okay, just another business. Just like another logo, another brand, another... We're all so stuck, like, with branding and all this stuff. You know, they look Top at... Top 28 is not... It ha had some things that came out of it that hasn't hit the public yet, which will. Okay. One of them is a, P uh, a ceasefire for Israel. Oh. Huh. And King Charles is probably going to be the one that's going to be um, overseeing it. Wow, the King Charles. He well, after he's done with his prostate exam, I guess he's going in under the knife. Under the knife, which is, you know, I, hopefully everything works out. I'm not going to be one. I don't like wishing bad stuff on people, even if they are bad. I just feel like it's kind of. Well, he I, is as bad as it get, but um, it, it's going to get worse. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I wish I could be the bearer of good news. I wish I was that tribe member. Unfortunately, 
I'm the bearer of bad news of things to come. <laughs> uh, With a smile. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> man. Damn. Um, yeah. Um, but, damn. okay. COP28, what they have set up. Now, I've been saying this for years. <coughs> and I, I don't judge or anything in respects to um, where people are with their faith and in their faith. Right. But that being said, people need to get right with Jesus in one way, shape, form, or another. COP28 is got a seven-year treaty designed to be implemented this year which is going to um, call for peace for Israel and give Israel the time to build the third temple. Mm -hmm. That being said, that's all biblical prophecy. So the bad guys are playing their script out through COP28 and all these different things. And, and the people are under this spell in the world of these people. Damn, dude. So all these faces, all these people, I mean, this is one I see a lot. I, I don't know if we can talk about him too much, but I see him a lot. He, he gives me a scary feeling. Yeah, he's not good. He's he, really bad. <laughs> right? I see him like... Faces, there. Uh, it's if look at all this on our screens. On I mean, dude, we're all just we're all uh, and 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 submerged in this. Uh, I guess the word uh, matrix, right? But it's only people such as ourselves that are kind of like look at all of us. Look at all of us here. Like, dude, it, it's, it's scary. A lot of people are like you said, just getting dumber and dumber and. It's it's getting weird out there, dude. It, it, it just people in general, man. Like like just it, it's just getting it's just getting weird in the way people are towards one another. I, I, I okay every, now if you uh, pull back all the okay, I'll go back to that. Yeah, go back to the front or go back. Well, you can keep doing what you're doing on the screen, but if you pull back and take a satellite perspective. Mm -hmm you know their agendas you know what they are setting out to do every year through cop there's going to be seven things that are implemented for or ten things that are going to be impl implemented over the next seven years so every year we get ten more things that we have to lose our freedoms in this is what i mean by we're playing 3d chess with protests on a 5D board. Dude. Uh. So, what I suggest, if you want to get off the... Uh, I, I, I'm like Matt. I'm more solution prone than focusing on the problem. I can see the problem. I can see the problem. I can see the problem. Every day, I see the problem. It keeps getting thrown out at me by everybody. It's like, okay, where's the solution? Right. The tribe needs to start reaching out to each other on a personal level. Build the tribe in a real sense. Because when they take everything down, there won't be the internet for a couple of months until they bring it back up. Would that be worldwide, you think? Or is it? Yes. Kind of reason why is if let's say pro bible prophecy plays out now i'm a devil's advocate on this one folks i'm a native jew and i am one a believer in christ and two a jew and the na last name i hold as a jew is one of the 12 tribes so i am confused in my mindset on whether I'm on the first train out of Clarksville called the Rapture or the second train with the chariots of fire when I get picked up as an elect. I don't know which camp I fall in. 
but I'm not on the side that's going to be eternally damned. <laughs> now, if you have, if the Bible is real and every prophecy that's been in it has come to pass and is true, the next one to happen is the rapture. And if that's real, it's going to happen this year. When? Possibly the eclipse or the fall feasts. That's what I'm thinking. Those are two astrological, when I say astrological, that lines up with the stars in the sky that are depicted in Revelations. They'll say, it says you'll see this sign and this sign and this sign. You look in the stars and guess what? It's there. Uh, what about people that just don't believe if they if they're like okay sounds like you just watched a good movie uh, how is that no, no but seriously if they if everything blacks out and everybody has to kind of rely on themselves and there's people that are just not to say necessarily atheists or just everybody has their own belief system right but it, it's it seems like when shit okay. hits the fan you're like, looking at it from the wrong angle you're looking at the wrong perspective. Okay, when I said I'm devil's advocate, I think I I, 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 I could be a, re, a good replacement for the devil. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because I think that way. How am I, like, I, I, I never thought or took much weight into the prophetic words of Revelations, even though I study that book left, right, center, up and down. Because it's the only book in the Bible that says, if you read me, you'll be blessed. It's like, I'm a greedy Jew. I want all the blessing as much as I can get. So <laughs> <laughs> that being said, I never seen a king in my lifetime. I've actually be, um, shook Prince Charles's hand when he came to Winnipeg back in the day. Then he turned king in 2023 after the queen died. I'm going, oh, shit. And prophecies, then COP28, 2020, so on and so forth. All the stuff started just like domino effect. It's like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. But for an American... Our American audience, because Canadians are, well, I can't even use them as a defense anymore. <laughs> Canadian audience, they'll understand what I'm about to say. When in history would Americans submit to a king? Ever. I can tell you, you destroy their economy through civil war and bring up someone like Donald Trump that's on uh, Israel's side uh, and everything else. And uh, the people will be calling out for this king for peace because right. Prince Charles is not a warmongering individual through his life. He's just been a king. He's just sat there. <laughs> He's not a political warmonger. So the world, under the brainwash, would accept him. Which is the whole treaty idea. Unless you destroy what is there, there's no way you can have a one world order. But they're saying they want the new world order. And the only way they can get that is that they destroy what we have. And then we say, help, help. So you mean the only way to kind of push in with this whole new world order would basically have to give the USA the final blow. And the final blow is having this kind of internal civil war to fraction off, to spread out the wealth and the power. And then you have somebody like uh, Donald Trump come in to be the final nail in the coffin because that's what's really going to divide the people from that point. Now you got the final blow and it took them eight years to get it here because they've been planning and figuring out a way. How can they split up this big, huge 
you know, conglomerate corporation. And it was the maybe the whole point of even having him elected the first four years. It was all in a way to get. Wait, is it? Wow. Hold on. Huh? Wow. I'm getting it. Holy crap. Okay. We're probably going to have to, uh, uh <laughs> we're going to, um, let me, let me pull up this last meme before we You're go. You're going to need a joint. <laughs> yeah. This Maybe would be the time to light. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, one last thing. Look at this. This is a funny meme. Um, find someone that looks at you the way Biden looked at Clinton after Clinton signed Biden's crime bill in the law, bringing mass incarceration to black Americans. Uh, these, these guys are all just it's it's all they're all um they're all they're all banded together one of the things i think nat says this a lot and i'm trying to get more on that wavelength is it's just realizing that all these all these people are all of them we, we shouldn't be necessarily praising any of them or or really thinking they have our best interests at heart because they're, they're all a part of the same damn disgusting evil vile system that's destroying uh, america and the families uh, and, and everything anything anyway it's all bad as we find out with your guy there, there's nothing good there's no positive i gotta Basically, throw one more caveat up yeah go go do it please do it let's say fate of fred fury is right just let's say the rapture is going to happen in 2024 okay we're just going to go run with that little um crazy talk okay and we have a rapture of global proportion of everyone being taken up that is a uh, believer in christ and they are no longer on this earth. You have the whole church, all the people that aren't hypocrites, okay? All of a sudden vanish on the face of this earth. What is that going to do? Well, it's going to clear up traffic in Los Angeles. Okay, no, bad joke. Bad joke. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's actually, that. There is that. Actually, actually, it's not because Los Angeles is full of a bunch of devils and stuff. So it sounds like this. It sounds like traffic will stay the same. But continue on. Sorry, I just I had to try to make a joke. Go on. Continue on. Continue on. Okay, so you have the global elites that are controlled by powers that are not natural. Point blank. They are supernatural of the dark side. <coughs> In that, they know the same plan and schedule as the good guys, the church. So, the church knows that it, our time is up. The rapture is about to happen. We're going to go to home in heaven. We don't have to put up with the tribulation and the shits that's about to unfold on earth. You have that along with staged events at the same time, nobody will know anything. Well, you just, you just have a rapture. You have people fixated on God. You have rapture happen plus massive brownouts, blackouts, so on so forth. nobody can communicate with anybody and then everything gets rebuilt put back together and it's ironic that the cop 28 is leave no one behind uh i mean well you know no one no one left people behind in this arc there was supposed to be unicorns but they were busy playing so they drowned. we still have unicorns Oh, get the heck out of the back seat and jump up front in the passenger. What are you talking about? Rhinoceros. Oh, wait, what? Uh, okay. Uh, he, he, he. You know, Google knows everything. Rhino, modern day unicorn. Uh... <laughs> I got to pull this up for us. Okay, so um, if you were looking in the Bible for the unicorn, that is the animal that they were depict the one horn. Um, 
Is this they a unicorn? Weren't pretty, they weren't as pretty as they make them out to be, but that is a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought this, this is a funny image. I thought this is a funny image. Hey, Nat. Oh, you guys, listen, not everybody has to. But that is interesting about the unicorns, though. So just, <laughs> you know, Nat's like, oh, yeah, and the fish with the horn. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, what, the one. What version? The one that says, "Uh oh." Okay, so so um, what, what what I'm just trying to say the you <laughs> what version? Oh gosh. Oh yeah. No, I uh, you know this was a religion. I, re I read the Tanakh, so um, I don't follow the King James. I actually follow the Tanakh, which is English and Hebrew. Ah. Uh. So I get well. the actual definitions of the words. Well, I want to. I just want to say thank you for jumping on here with me. This this video will will be here. It'll um, you know, for my for my YouTube sake, since we talked about some sensitive topics today, uh, this video will be available on YouTube. On the other, on all the other social media platforms, it's already there on X right now. People can go check it out. But when it comes to YouTube, this will be one of those members only type videos so if you guys have yet to do so make sure you join and and help support the channel like fred and others and nat have done over the years i i thank you guys so much as i as we keep trying to truck on through here you can see right here the the last 28 days we are trucking along every day averaging about keeping it over ten thousand views since the start of this year that's the kind of goal keeping it going pumping it out just to keep keep the momentum going so guys um fred fury i want to say first i want to go back to your your x account before we go you guys make sure you go to at toker underscore joker 2020 on the x platform fff 710 home of the hip-hop he also does his online show he's bringing it back later this year in the next couple months or weeks in the near future weeks um, yep yeah, play more music if you guys are independent content creators you guys are out there with some new music uh you know keep it new relatively new uh um obviously not this year uh, new new if you have stuff from last year because it's just started but if you have this year get but get send it to him reach out and fred anything you want to say to all the um you know oh yeah i wanted to get your last thought if so if something hits off and all the power goes out and we can't use the internet and you say it's going to be for a couple months uh and then um what like dude like wait what so what what, what happens like here we are connecting but now we don't got that now you got to if you live okay. in a big compacted city, you're not out in the country like you and I, away from people. You're in the freaking city. You're uh, in a war zone. Out. You're in a war zone. That's why I say get actively involved with other tribe members. Reach out offline mm -hmm. with each other. So use are tangibly real. You have a way to communicate. You're not alone in what's coming right you have a support group and if the internet is going down you need to be able to contact them through other means wow that being said two to three months you have the rapture happen world events happen and then if you're in the city and the suburbs of the city get ready to have the immigrators wreak havoc on everything you mean the power goes out? It's not just your neighbor that you've lived next to for every. Basically, what you're saying is you got people that want to take they over. Brought the for... They brought the foreign army in to take your stuff and to live in your homes and to destroy yourself. So be prepared. That is what I'm saying. But then if the power's out, how can people get a hold of each other? Nat how says, can oh, yeah, people they can just tune into your phone calls? Nat, you're on one today, you little. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she has a point. Well, I mean, the power's out. How am I going to call you, buddy? No, not all the power's out. Ham radio. Right. Oh, my gosh. Right? Dude, this is like out of a movie. Like, things are happening. No, but things are moving right now, moving parts right now. As we're talking, there's things gradually moving it towards that 
that putting that picture crescendo. together. That picture, damn. We're coming to that crescendo. It's going to happen in 2024. I'm not one of the guys that say, it's going to happen on this date. Why? Because the Bible clearly states no man knows the day or the hour. So yeah. if that is God of the universe saying, you ain't going to get to know, it's not up to you. But everyone on the opposite end is on a switch ready to flick. Why do you think they're doing these rolling blackouts? Why do you think they're preparing for all these shutdowns and doing these tests? For your benefit? No, because you can't just go right into it because you don't know. They, they do the test because after they test it out, it's almost like if I'm in here and I got a breaker, I want to make sure to leave half the room lit, the other half turned off. I'm not going to wait till something happens and it's all – basically, they have to figure the breakers correctly, meaning – we're going to be turned off. They're going to have their things turned on. And before it's kind of like, oh, hold on. I got, I, you just made me make sense of everything. It's kind of like how we're talking about, uh, you know, pushing. The I have a, a curse in doing that. No, no, but no, no. But, um, they got to test it to, to see that it works. And, 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 and what better way to test a idea by using other things to be the excuse to do the test, but there's, it's not even about that. It was, it was about doing these tests that they need to do because like anything, you got to go through a test. When we're in school, you got to take a test. You want to do this? You got to take a test. You got to take a test. You got, unless you're out in Sicily, you, you maybe saying buy, buy somebody to do the test for you. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> you're saying you got to take a test, right? So, so even with something on this big that could change ultimately the direction of humanity, they need to test it. Because even those wealthy people, they're so scared and they want to hoard their wealth and they're scared of dying. They want to live long. They want to make sure what they're doing is that they can, you know, they're good. They don't care about us. So anyway, you got me kind of, you got me just wanting to, man, I, how yeah, do you dude. How do you demoralize and cripple a whole Western world and turn it into a third world country? First, you... Bring in a whole bunch of immigrants. Second, you divide. And they've been doing the divide for the last three years, uh. left, right, center. And then you implement blackouts and you implement this. And guess what happens? Western world is now a third world country. Oh, dude. So how does that, but how does that play out? Like, like, um, do third Very world ugly. countries have NFL football? <laughs> You know, like, like they have that <laughs> restaurant, like <laughs> wasteland. Like they're already saying in this article that most cities will be abandoned in the next 25, 30 years. Like half of the city will be gone. People are saying they'll fill in with illegal immigrants, but people are missing the point. Um, people are fleeing this. Anyway, we could go on for days about this, but I got to get ready to go to dinner. I just wanted you to know that I'm grateful whenever you're on the show. And I, I, I appreciate you. And I hope that your uh, X account continues to grow. I just had some people with a big following start following my, my channel. I'm hoping, and I've been seeing the trickle and I hope by us following each other, that's how X is so cool. It's like a trickle, you know, like 100 <laughs> people, pause, 100 yeah. people. Um, when it comes to voting, um, your vote as much as, unless it's a paper ballot, it doesn't count. Mm. Everything's rigged nowadays electronically. So unless they go back to paper, which is possible, I don't have any faith in the system. None. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole point, to lose the faith, to break the faith in the system, to get people where they don't even want to go fight for their own country anymore. you got to break the spirit of the individual. <laughs> that's how you break it across the whole board. And then you can argue and say uh, you, you should still go – and 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 vote uh, because at the end of the day, at least even if it is the game's not you know in our favor, at least you the the individual uh, still went and and made their you, you, you use your voice your choice to go vote or not. I just think you can't you can't complain if you don't vote, even though even if there is no you know sure way in hell it, it, you know it's a little spiked or rigged or whatever they are uh, already gathering the cash and wealth um that's what ukraine was all about and still is in part 
So they're doing all that. They've been doing that for a couple of years now. So <laughs> they've been gathering oh. their wealth. They've been um, making bunkers for themselves and everything. They know what's coming. Right. There's I even bunkers. I yeah, everybody's coming. making bunkers. Even the rapper Rick Ross. You got the guy out in Hawaii, the Facebook owner. It does feel weird. Jeff Bezos has his own island. I mean, these articles have been coming out really steady the last couple of weeks about bunkers, underground bunkers, really wealthy people building bunkers. Tom Cruise has a bunker until you ride Colorado. And until you guys open up your eyes, dude, you're going to get eaten like an avocado. <laughs> no, but, but right? I mean, something's going on. So, Fred... <laughs> The city's the worst place to be. If you have cottage country you can go to when shit hits the fan, get there. Well, Fred, you know what I always say? When shit hits the fan, you got to stay high like the fan. Yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously, Fred, thank you. Thank you again. Uh, I look forward to the, Let's get you on uh, anytime I go live. You know, um, this. Uh, anyway, keep doing your thing. Thank you so much for coming on here and uh, enjoy your evening. And, and Daytime. You your evening. Oh, thank you. Yeah, your morning. Yeah. <laughs> Later, bro. Cheers. Bye. Um, wow, that was good. It's always good. Hey, thank you, Clapper, for being on here. Go to the YouTube and click the link. I just want to say again, guys, thank you so much for, for you being here today. Um, we went ahead. We did a two-hour long off topic, off the cusp today. Where is it? 